In transforming the mental health and addiction system, we want to make sure all New Zealanders get the support they need, where, when and how they need it. An important step in this transformation is creating fit-for-purpose legislation, and in 2019, the government accepted the recommendation in Heara Oranga, the report of the Inquiry into Mental Health and Addiction, to repeal and replace the Mental Health Act. The Mental Health Compulsory Assessment and Treatment Act is legislation that sets out when, why and how the government can intervene in a person's life to give them mental health treatment against their will. The current act became law in 1992. It has not kept pace with new approaches to care and statistics show that Māori, Pacific peoples and disabled people experience a range of inequities under the Act. Many people in Aotearoa New Zealand access specialist mental health and addiction services every year and most will never be placed under the Mental Health Act. However, for those who do experience it, the Act has a big impact. So now we need to get clear direction from New Zealanders about what mental health legislation should look like. We want to hear your views on a range of topics, including the purpose of this legislation, how to embed te tiriti o waitangi, capacity and decision making, and seclusion, restraint or other restrictive practices. We have an opportunity to create new mental health legislation that protects human rights recognises te tiriti o waitangi and improves equity. There are many things to consider and we need your help in shaping the future of mental health legislation in Aotearoa, New Zealand. To find out more, visit the Mental Health and Addiction page on the Ministry of Health website.